Hey everyone, Gleb Bakhmutov is here and I want to show how we can test the geolocation method that returns an error. I have a little application that has uh, right here a button, locate me. And if the geolocation get current position method calls the error callback, then it shows the inner text inside the message element. And my test, all it does, it clicks on the button and then tries to confirm that our test error message is shown. If I don't do anything, then you can see the button and I'm trying to click on the button and right now it does nothing. It just shows the default browser error and we don't want that. We want to make sure that it shows the error that that method returns. Now we need to stop it. So here's what I will do. Right before I click on the button, I'll create a stop. I'll get the applications window using side window command. And then I have a window object. This window object, that's where the navigator geolocation get current position method exists. So I'll use side stop. And the first arguments is the object. And the second argument is the name of the method I want to stop. Okay. What do we don't want to do for that stop? We want to call fake method and we are mimicking the API of get current position. And so what that method does, it takes first argument on success callback on error callback. And in reality, if it could get the browser geographic location, it would call on success with that object. And if it could not, it calls on error callback. So what we want to do in our stop is call it passing the error object. Okay, so uh, it's not call fake, it's calls fake. Okay, let's try clicking on the button. And now look at the error. This is the error that's coming from our mock test. We can confirm that that message is shown. We can also give that stub as a geo stub alias and confirm that it was actually used and not accidentally passing. So we'll get the alias. And we'll say should have been called once. Great. Now, this is such a common pattern where you stop a method. And all you do is call one of the callback arguments, either the first one or the second one, but CNN.js actually implements it. And there is a better way of doing this. Instead of saying calls fake and then calling the argument, you can say calls arg with. And what's the index of the argument that you want to call? So this is index zero and this is index one. So we want to call the first argument that the application passes to the geolocation get current position. And we need to give it an argument, right? The error object. So that will be the error. We'll remove this and let's see if it works. It works exactly the same. So we're stopping the method. And when the application calls that stop, it will pass on second position. Um, a callback function and we're going to call it with our test error and we'll confirm that it was actually used and that application is showing the right message in the user interface. If you want to see more of Synon.js examples, because Synon is very powerful, this recipe that I just shown is right here on my Cypress example site. And there is a whole page of stubs and spies that shows all different powerful things of using CNGS. So if you need to refresh your memory on how to use specific thing, how to stop a property, etc., check out Cypress examples. I'm going to link it from the description of this video.